got involved with this project, um, particularly because my, my father is involved mm -hmm. and I've been learning about Egypt and have been interested in Egypt since birth. So this is only natural for me, but um, out of the four times that I've been to Egypt, this is the first time that I've had hands-on experience uh, mm -hmm. to participate in an excavation. So I have to say that out of those four trips, this has been the best trip mm -hmm. ever. Uh, and I hope that I'll be able to continue working with this project and my experiences uh, will only get better. I'll learn more and uh, become more involved. And um, I'm just appreciative of the opportunity to be here and to work with um, the Egyptians, the um, conservators and people who helped to restore uh, and rebuild this, this uh, temple. Yeah, so what's one word to describe your uh, experience? One word, um, one word I don't think could really sum up this experience, but if I had to choose, if I was forced to choose, um, I would say fantastic. And if you ask me another time, I would say awesome. And if you ask me again, I would say amazing. Um, it's, there's really no one word to describe this experience, but um, it's something that Initially, I would say that, okay, everybody has to make a trip to Egypt, um, but this project is like everybody has to participate in. Everybody may not be uh, physically able to travel to Egypt, uh, but even if you can't physically travel to Egypt, um, funds, you know, this project would not go on uh, if there was no money to continue it. You have to pay the workers who, who taking all of the stone out of the tombs. Um, you have to pay the people who are uh, conserving it and restoring it. So there's a lot of money uh, that's needed to continue on. And so um, anybody who can give money. It's almost satisfying in and of itself to know that, you know, your money uh, helps to contribute to the project. And if you have to break it down to to actually visualize what you will be doing, um, something as simple as these columns. Um, they have to re be restored. Uh, the masons have to cut the limestone um, and, and rebuild it. So that in and of itself is um, something that, that costs a lot of money. They need gloves. They need uh, plastic bags to put the fragments in. They need boxes. They need pencils. They need paper. They need just about anything you could think of uh, is needed and would be truly appreciated in order to help move things forward. The most important thing is knowing that um, as an Americanized African, um, that there's not too many, or actually this is the only project that I know of in which African Americans have been hands-on. So to be a part of making history um, is something that, that um, it's something that, it's, it's making history. So it's, I don't think that you could have this experience any other any other place and to know that um, in this lifetime I'm able to do this is just amazing. So I hope, you know, when I'm 40, 50, 60, when I have children, grandchildren, I'll be able to um, share this information and tell the stories of going into the tomb and touching mummies and mm -hmm. touching bones and all sorts of things. So it's, it's just something that really makes you um, appreciate and value uh, one what our ancestors did but the fact that um, you know we are making history um, it may not seem when you're actually here doing it it may not seem like it's a lot but you know when you go, when I go back home and reflect on it in years later I'll, and when, when Dr. Elena oops sorry when Dr. Elena blows up and her this project becomes uh, known around the world, I'll be able to look back and, and know that, not to say I want to associate my name with it, but to, to know that I help, I'm one of dozens, hundreds, um, thousands of people who helped to make this happen, so it's, it's one of the best moments in the world. I just want to say that um, you don't want to go through life having any regrets, so you don't want to regret that you didn't do something when you had the opportunity. Even if you don't think that you can do it, all you have to do is put it out in the universe and um, the creator works, works, works her magic and will make things happen. So 
if I can say one statement to everybody, um, you got to be a part of, of making history. Either be here physically, contribute financially, donate materials, you have to do something because this is what I think a uh, once in a lifetime opportunity. So make it happen. I have to, I would say my favorite, most favorite part was going inside of the tomb, going 24 feet below ground and inside of the burial chamber and actually touching pieces of a mummy, um, skulls and bones, like bone legs. Um, yeah, it, yeah, that, that was the most exciting thing, being able to do that, um, which I know not very many people have done or even will be able to do in their lifetime. Uh, well, I'm not a morning person, so getting up at 4, 4.30 in the morning was <laughs> really hard, but at the end of the day, um, it was worth it, mm -hmm. and um, I will never forget that. I think this is the only time I've actually had to get up at 4 o'clock in the morning, so this will go down in history, and if I come back again, um, I have to prepare myself mentally and physically to be able to, to do that. So getting up at four o'clock in the morning is kind of hard and the flies, the flies are crazy. They're aggressive and it's like they're determined um, when they wake up, okay, I'm going to get you and I'm going to bother you until it's time for you to leave. So that